Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is anger and frustration are okay. When you are angry, very often you feel that there is something wrong with you, that you should not be feeling that. And I'm here to tell you that this is not true. Anger is the feeling or the energy of freedom moving through your system. <clears throat> You might have been trapped in a certain mindset, in a certain position in life, and then there is a new flow of energy flowing through you, and that emotion of the conflicting mindsets of what was in the past and the new wave of energy coming through your system might trigger anger, it might trigger sadness, it might trigger laughter. This emotion means that something is moving through your system, and sometimes it comes in the form of anger and frustration. So when you're in the breakup zone, here is the thing, you don't have to suppress your anger. You can be angry, you can walk around with tension and be like, I'm fucking enraged right now. The question is not having that emotion or not, the question is what are you gonna do with it? Here are the things you must not do. You must not contact her or connect with her when you are in that space. Unless she gives you permission to and unless you have a way of digesting these energies together. But most of the times you are not equipped for that, so don't do that. Don't send her messages. Don't connect with her when you're in that space. Don't take action, don't take vindictive action. Don't launch a court case or a divorce procedure with her that you would regret after that comes out of this place of anger. Basically what I'm saying is that don't go to battle. Don't escalate the fight when you are in this place of anger. The reason why I'm saying that is because the chances of her retaliating are very high. So imagine that you come to her place from a place of anger, you know, she might launch a restraining order, cut you off from your children, even cut you off even more. And so the projection of anger towards her is going to be extremely threatening to her field. It's going to create a lack of safety for her and make her feel like she really has to run away and protect herself from you. She might call another ex or her new boyfriend to help her stay protected. And so here is the thing. It's okay to feel anger. It's not okay to take vindictive action to attack, either attack verbally, you know, physically, we cannot even talk about that. It's not okay to take action, okay? You have to digest the emotions differently. So here are things that you can do. You can do some kickboxing. You can go to the gym, burn it physically, go for a jog, climb a mountain, jump in the ocean. Take a challenge somewhere, do something, invest yourself into your work. Connect with your brothers, with friends. You know, all that is okay because you are not creating a snowball effect that you might regret. It means that you're not taking physical vindictive action. You're not putting all that anger, all that rage into action. So what's happening is that it's simply a flow. It's simply an emotion. As long as it stays an emotion and as long as it stays something that moves within your field, that's fine. And you will notice that when you start, for instance, digesting this emotion. You know, for instance, you can go into shaking or into dynamic breathing, the way I explained in other videos. <laughs> you start breathing it out. And so you start releasing that emotion. After a while, you will notice that maybe after an hour or two, the emotion is completely gone. If you're really good at releasing, it might be just five minutes. You might be really angry at one moment and suddenly it's gone. <sighs> okay, it's gone. And so this ability to release, this ability to move with emotions in flexible ways, it's a very powerful skill. There is much more on that on my channel, uh, on the website vitalcoaching.com, on the channel which is called Vital Force. Lots of videos there on energetic emotional release, emotional activation, energetic activation. Go and check them out. But for now, what I want, you to, what I want to tell you is that there is nothing wrong with being angry. There is nothing wrong with being angry. Anger is a very powerful force. It's a very powerful fire. There's nothing wrong with feeling that. What's wrong or what might put you in trouble is if you take action with that anger. So keep it for yourself, keep it in inside. Maybe go to the beach somewhere where you can scream, yell it, bring it out to the surface, let that emotion flow through your system. 
you would see that it's going to be a very powerful and powerful experience.